I'd like to introduce you to a new feature on fvpony.org, where we'll be bringing you the latest league news, highlights, and stories throughout the season. Welcome to the preseason edition of Liners, Slides, and Dugouts. folks, Carl Lucky here with Fountain Valley Pony Baseball. All across America, kids are lacing up their shoes, getting their mitts ready, and putting on their brand new uniforms for opening day. And nobody does it as good as we do here in Fountain Valley, California at Fountain Valley Pony Baseball. In this episode, we're sitting down with board president Mike Russell. Then we'll head up the road and talk with Dan Keller of Lifeletics. Hey baseball fans, welcome to our segment, Bleacher Talk. I'm here with the current Fountain Valley Pony Baseball President, Mike Russell. Hello everyone. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with the league and how long you've been around? Yeah, I've been uh, around the league since my son was four. He's now 11. Uh, I've been on the board for six years. I uh, had various positions, um, VP, Chief Umpire, and currently the President. Great. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what's in store for Pony Baseball this year? Yeah, we're looking for a fantastic season. We have uh, six divisions, uh, four-year-olds all the way up to 13-year-olds, uh, 14-year-olds. Um, that's T-ball through Pony. Uh, exciting stuff. Uh, excellent competition here at Fountain Valley Pony Baseball. The kids are looking forward to having a good time. Great. Um, we have a pretty large league, one of the largest leagues actually in Southern California. Sure. I think we're approaching 900 kids this year. And one of the things I know the difference is, is sort of the boundaries that we go on uh -huh. as opposed to a district. We actually use a, a, a zone. Yeah, yeah. We have a, a each pony league is a, has a zone that they have that they can draw from. Uh, we primarily draw from the city of Fountain Valley, uh, Huntington Beach, parts of, Little, parts of Westminster. Um, parts of Costa Mesa, and uh, that's generally it, yeah. Great. So what other exciting things do we have going on at Pony Baseball? I know we've got opening day coming up in about yes. a week. We've got yes. some exciting festivities. we got Angel Night, Family Fun Night. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, everybody out there, uh, we want you all to come out and support our Family Fun Night, uh, which is coming, well, it's not necessarily coming up right now when you're watching this, but it'll happen in May. Um, we have Angel Night as well. Uh, both of these are very large fundraising opportunities for our league. As Carl mentioned, uh, we are a very large league. Uh, he said 900. We actually probably have approximately 1,400 kids that play uh, spring and summer ball with us. Um, so we utilize those fundraisers to help us uh, get through the season, uniform expenses, field rentals and things like that. Uh, one, one, one. Family Fun Night's an awesome event. We have a, a food truck that comes out, a live DJ. Uh, it'll be a good time. You know, I think one of the things I, I love about uh, Pony Baseball oh, oh, oh. is uh, from other leagues is that when I, you know, volunteer my time, it's on the field. There's no requirements to work a snack bar or anything like that. And what we really do is we require, we just ask teams to help us out, set up fields, set up tarps, and we just did that this weekend. And I think that's the one unique thing also about Pony Baseball. We're not having kids sell candy or magazines to support us. We really look to the parents to help us out with that. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, everywhere, my, my kids have played multiple sports and everywhere you go, it's all you need to sell this, you need to do this. Uh, you need to buy out of the snack bar. Carl hit it on the head here. We, we don't ask for any requirements in terms of buying things out. It's just all part of your registration fee. Uh, it's all part of the packet. Um, the pictures, all that good stuff. Um, we have the volunteer, uh, the volunteer board members that come in. Uh, they, they run the snack bar. 
we put everything together, we do the scheduling, all that stuff. So we don't really ask for much from the parents other than to support their kids and have fun playing baseball. Right, right. You know, one of the last things I wanted to talk about is, you know, some, some people have asked me before about uh, our fields and, and the usage of our fields and things like that. And what, what I think a lot of the public doesn't know is that we don't own these fields and we actually lease them back from the city from, from I, I believe it's about late January through August. Yes. And um, so, so that's kind of interesting that we have to do that, but we're also in charge of making sure those lines are painted and, and those fields are- Yeah, that's cool. that, That's absolutely right. Uh, we, we, we pay prime dollars for these fields um, and we get them from February 1st through August, basically. Um, and we're releasing them from the city and we maintain them ourselves. The city basically, they mow the grass. That's about all they do. Everything else you see here is all funded through uh, Fountain Valley Pony Baseball and the uh, uh, fundraising opportunities that we have like an Angel Night, Family Fun Night, team sponsor money, uh, things, things like that. So, hey Mike, thanks for your time and uh, wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Not far from Miles Square Park is Lifeletics, a facility where they're developing players in all aspects of the game. Join me as we sit down with college baseball coach and owner of Lifeletics, Dan Keller. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Go Fountain Valley Pony. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about uh, Lifeletics and what goes on here? Lifeletics is a baseball instructional facility. Uh, we run camps, clinics, seminars. Uh, we assist the families of Found by a Pony in training kids, and we've built a real positive environment. So we think it's a good place and a wholesome place to come. At the end of the day, we help your athlete improve his baseball skills in an environment that doesn't take it over the top. Sure, and you, you actually help uh, Found by a Pony out a lot with uh, running our managers' clinics and uh, coming out and do some free clinics for us during the year before we, we get going. So we really appreciate that. Thank you. We just finished the spring training clinic where we train the coaches. And coming up, we'll do three clinics for the parents and managers on hitting, catching, and pitching. And so that's type of the same type of stuff we do for the athletes. We're going to provide those free of charge to Fountain by Pony. Great. Well, we really appreciate it. You know, as the season gets started, um, a lot of times parents are wondering what can they do to, to prepare their, 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 their player? And what can they do as far as, uh, you know, making sure that they're going to have a successful season this year? What, what could you share with us? First thing that pops to mind is have a plan. And, and one of the things I've learned in doing this for, for 15 years and working with Found by Pony for probably the last 12 or 13 years is there's so much value in an athlete having a plan. Whether he steps into the batter's box and he, he, he feels good about where he puts his feet, where he puts his hands, and a couple simple steps or keywords. Or if he steps onto the mound and he knows the first movement I'm gonna do and he's got a keyword, something to positively focus on, it's just a huge advantage. If we could provide baseball instruction for everybody, we would love to do it because the confidence and the plan leads to smiles and having fun. So the first tip I would say and recommending to parents is to make sure that you arm your athlete with some sort of plan, some sort of plan. And we can help with that obviously, but the coaches at Fountain Valley Pony are fantastic. Ask them, work with them, and try to come up with what's my plan when I go to take a bat or I'm taking them out or a ground ball. Great. So, um, you know, one of the other things is, is if people wanted additional instruction and they wanted to call Lifeletics and, and maybe do some things, can you tell us a little bit about some of those things that you have going on here? Absolutely. Yeah, like I mentioned here, uh, we're in late February, early March. We'll have three clinics coming up for the coaches, our coaching one-on-one seminar series. At our Lifeletics training facility, we work with individuals year-round basis. We do half-hour lessons in hitting, pitching, fielding, catching. Um, we also run summer camps, spring break camp. Um, so we have small group, individual, large group options based on you know what fits the families, the athlete needs, and the you know the family budget, etc. Um, but the biggest thing we can do is is we have a great training facility that feels good. It's a positive environment. You can come down and get individual instruction. You can join us out on the field for a camp, and we can keep your athlete moving forward, developing that plan. And we take them as early as six or seven years old, all the way through my guys at the college level. You know, they're here late evenings, early afternoons, working and training the same way. Right. Well, hey, Dan, thanks for your time, and uh, we hope you have a great season at Cypress this year, and hope to see you out at the Pony Fields. Thank you very much. Go Pony! <laughs>